613. Your 630 report starts now. News 13 on special assignment. Wednesday, hurricane expert Dr. William Gray announced his forecast of an above average hurricane season. He's predicting 18 named storms, nine of them hurricanes, four of them will be major. The government will release its forecast next month. Now News 13 is learning schools in Seminole County will be ready to handle winds of up to 200 miles an hour thanks to hurricane proof roofs. Seminole County reporter Jeff Allen is on special assignment to show us how these special roofs work. We've seen just how much damage storms can do. When Hurricanes Charlie, Francis and Jean battered Central Florida in 2004, winds peeled off part of the roofing at Lyman High School in Longwood. This is the part that peeled off, but all of this white colored roofing stayed on. Why? The lighter colored roofing was a completely different type of roof known as a wind vented roof. Ralph Jewell with Integrated Building Envelope Systems in Apopka says in order to understand how these roofs work, you have to first understand what causes high winds to rip roofs off. So when the wind's coming across the roof, it uh, first hits the building and goes running up the side of the building. It intersects with winds that are going across the top of the building. That's what creates a wind vortex. This is what's known as an equalizer valve. Several of these are on these type of roofs and it's at the heart of what makes this scientific technology work. With the equalizer valve, when the wind blows, instead of the roof trying to lift up, the roof sucks downward. In 2004, Seminole County school administrators took notice. After years of tight budgets in the past year, they've installed several more of these wind vented roofs on schools across the county. More of Lyman High's roofs will become wind vented when school breaks for summer in a few weeks. The roofs are warrantied for hurricane and tornado force winds up to 200 miles per hour. Basically, we're taking the power of Mother Nature, which is absolutely stronger than any screw or any glue. And Jewel says the roofs ultimately save taxpayer money because they can be as much as half the price of the conventional roofs that still cover most of Central Florida schools today. Well, it's nice to know that the children are as safe as they can be regarding the roofing with this system, but it's also nice to know as a parent and a taxpayer in that community. Jewel says Seminole County Schools is the first school system in Central Florida to use the wind vented roofs on several schools, but he expects other school systems to begin using them in the near future. In Seminole County, Jeff Allen, News 13. We have a list of the schools that are using these special roofs and information about the company that manufactures them on our website. Also right now on cfnews13.com slash hurricane, we have information you can use now to make sure you're ready for hurricane season. From a checklist of what you need to evacuation maps and even answers to your questions about hurricanes. It's all there for you right now.